we're going to test the API of the Rico Theta SC2. We're going to adjust the exposure compensation settings, grab hundreds of thumbnails down to your local computer. It's, it's coming straight from the camera down to my Windows workstation. The code for this is also available. Uh, you can just grab any of the images that you download from the camera uh, using a single uh, line command over to your local computer for testing and the normal apps that you would use uh, also work. So let's get started. You can download the test by going to the Theta 360 Developers Web API GitHub repo. Then under the releases portion here, you can get the download version. Uh, in this case, it's I'm going to get the Windows 10 version. I'll click it. It downloads it. I've downloaded the file and put it into a folder in my home directory. I'm calling the folder bin. I'm not going to set the environmental variable so that I can run this theta command directly from uh, the command line. So I'm just going to add it to my path. Environmental variables. I'll set it to the user variables for Craig path. And I'm going to add it into Craig bin. It's right here. And now the tool installed. So if I type uh, theta, it will run and it'll, it'll show a help file here. And then you can run a specific command against the camera. Uh, the just to read the installation, it was in my home directory. I'm on Windows 10 and the theta is here. It's theta.exe. You don't need to type the the exe when you run the um, run the thing. So I'm going to make a directory under documents and I'll make it uh, like theta test here and I'll, I'll go into the theta test. So I'm going to store some media in here. I have two network interfaces on my computer and this Windows 10 computer. You can see that uh, there's Ethernet and there's a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to configure on my second network. Uh, I'm going to connect it to the theta here. So the password is just the digits. It's just eight numbers uh, for the theta as I have it pre-configured. That's why I can log in right now. To make sure the camera is connected to my Windows 10 computer, I like to ping the camera. It's always going to be at 192.168.1.1 and you should get a positive response. If you're getting a response, you can then run the theta info command here for more specific information about the camera. With this, so how do I know it's info? Well, if, if you do help with this command, this info is right here. Here. So if you do help info, you can get additional information. It will just print out all the information on the camera, well, not the state, but information. Or you could pass it another flag here, like info model, and it'll show the Rico Theta, just a the specific model, which is the Theta SC2. That's the one I'm testing. Or you can just grab the firmware to see what version of firmware. This is the most recent version of the firmware. This uh, version, the earlier version, actually corrected some bugs with uh, delete all. So it's good to update to the latest firmware. In this tool, you can also grab the, the state of the camera, which will give you stuff like the storage URI, battery level. You can all see the information here. Right now, there's just one flag. Um, so if you do help, you can just see that there's just one flag for the battery level. Uh, it's pretty common to want to check out what your battery level is. Going back to the tool, you can see other uh, options that it has. If you want to take a picture and download it, you can do take and download. 
So this state is going to constantly give a status request. The source code is available for this tool so you can see what we did here. If you do a DIR, you can see the files here. If you just use a normal Windows File Explorer, the file is, the actual image file is here. Uh, you could do extra large icon. The camera is lying on the side, which is why it looks like this. And uh, you can display an expert rectangular mode, or you could use the uh, Theta app itself to view the image. Let's drag it on. The camera is on the side, which is why the, the black, uh, the bottom is black here. Change different parameters. So let's say that you want to set the exposure uh, compensation here. First, we'll probably check it to see what it is. Currently have the exposure comp the exposure compensation set to zero. So it's going to take the uh, default values. It's the higher the number, the brighter it is. Uh, exposure delay is the uh, shutter delay or the, the self timer and exposure program is set to two, which is auto. So with the exposure program set to two auto, it's going to fiddle around with the exposure compensation. Using the tool, I can see that exposure compensation is one of the options. If I don't put a flag on this thing, it's going to tell me that I have to set the value. So I'll do hyphen hyphen value. I'll set the exposure compensation to two. And if I do get options again, you can now see that the exposure compensation is set to two. The image theoretically should be brighter. So let's, let's go back. I'm just doing the up arrow to go through the commands. I'm going to take and download again. It should take approximately eight seconds with the Theta SC2 to take the picture. Uh, this recorded uh, seven seconds. And now to take the picture, and be ready for transfer. I'm using a status command that you can see the source code to actually see whether the image is ready for download or not. With the download complete, you can see that the already it's pretty obvious that the exposure compensation is different. It's much brighter. I, I did put the camera on a tripod. My office is not this bright, but it is this messy. If you do right click, you can see the properties of this image file with a Windows File Explorer. Going down to the details, you could see that the exposure bias here has a plus two step, meaning that the exposure compensation has been altered by two. Let's try to make it dark. So instead of exposure value of two, I'm gonna set it to minus 2.0. Now, if I check the options, you can see that theoretically it should be exposure compensation minus 2.0, right? So it should be dark. I'm going to take and download the file again. It's going to use the camera.status command to see what the state of the camera is, whether it's in progress or whether the state is done. At some point, the state will return done from the camera status command. When you're writing your app, you want to have a loop to check for the status. Once the status is done, it sends another command to this URL endpoint. So this file here is actually viewable within a browser too, but let's, this thing writes it to disk. You can see that it's darker, right? So with the exposure bias or compensation set to minus two, same uh, picture, uh, camera didn't move, exact same scene, but much, much darker or much lighter. With this, you could, you know, you probably want it to be relatively light to make it look upbeat. You could then just do a test right here and set the compensation value maybe to 1.0. You don't need to verify it. You could just take and download here. A exposure compensation of plus one bias here. You can compare it to the plus two bias. The tool can be used with more than just the SC2. 
But because the SE2 and the SE2B are newer cameras, there's many more questions about it. So I'm going to put this tool, uh, the binaries, you can just run it directly without compiling it, uh, on this site here, which is theta360.guide slash special slash SC2. The link will be in the description of, of the video. And without logging in, without putting your email in, you can see a, a fair bit of content here. Uh, your email. No password, you'll just get immediate access to it. We just need to track the email because we report back to Rico on the popularity of the site and Rico is our sponsor. So that's the only reason we're grabbing your email. And I'll just put the, the download for the tool um, probably like right here. And uh, download and let, let us know how it goes. Thanks. Have a great day.